right. Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. Love and light is your brother, Omni Amanashi, also known as Omni Omnis. Welcome to Omnivision EDU. Uh, this is another segment of Natural Science 101, okay, with Brother Omnis. And today's subject matter is GMO, okay, genetically modified organisms. DNA, which stands for dioxyribonucleic acid, is a self-replicating material by which is present in nearly all living organisms and serves as a constituent of chromosomes and also as a carrier of genetic information. Genes, which is the study of inherent DNA passed down from parents to offspring. Modification in the word GMO, it means to alter or to change, to change or to alter, all right? Organism in the word GMO means any life form that is a multicellular or single cell life form. A genetically modified organism is any living organism who has had its genetic material genetically altered using modern biotechnology okay so this is a man-made interference in genetic sequencing also known as genetic engineering now genetic engineering is the deliberate modification of the characteristics of a living organism by manipulating its genetic material okay same thing as GMO, genetic modification. Now, in 1993, the Encyclopedia Botanica defined genetic engineering as any wide range of techniques such as artificial insemination, um, virtual fertilization, sperm banks, test tube babies, um, cloning, genetic modification. The most common is any organism altered in a way that it does not naturally occur by mating or natural uh, sexual reproduction, okay? or natural recombination. So if an organism did not derive through natural sexual reproduction, it's likely to be a genetically modified organism. Organisms who have had their genes altered, all right, by humans rather than nature, are genetically modified organisms, meaning they're unnatural. Now, as of 2020, a lot of living organisms have been genetically modified, including humans, animals, and plants. Now, in 1779, Samuel Crompton was accredited for the invention of the spinning mule, okay, which is a cross species between a female horse and a male donkey. The problem is horses and donkeys are different species with different numbers of chromosomes. So there's a reproductive processing error. The first species of genetically modified mice were credited to Rudolf Jenzik in 1974, okay, the typical everyday lab rat. The first reported genetically modified plant was produced in 1983, accredited to Michael Beaven, Richard Flavel, and Mary Dale Chilton, okay? This is where you get your tobacco from. This is where you get your Newports, all right? The first hybrid grain crop of wheat named Triticle was developed in the 1930s using various genetic modification techniques, okay? And this is a hybrid plant. Even though it's wheat, it's still not the original species of wheat plant. The Flavar Savar, also known as the flavor saver tomato, was the first modern genetically modified plant to be granted license for commercial use, okay, in 1994. The first modern genetically modified animal to be commercialized was a hybrid glowfish in year 2003. The first genetically modified animal to be approved for commercial uses for food is the aqua salmon in year 2015. So a lot of the salmon that we're eating could possibly be the genetic modified version. Dolly the sheep, born July 1996, died February 2003, was a domestic sheep, okay? The first mammal cloned from an adult somatic cell 
using gene transfer, a somatic cell is any biological cell forming the body of a living organism. From Greek, soma, meaning body, body cell. Nuclear transfer is a form of cloning that involves the removal of DNA from the oocyte unfertilized egg cell while injecting the nucleus which contains the DNA to be cloned. Domestication is the permanent genetic modification of a bred lineage that leads to an inherited predisposition. The EU, which stands for the European Union, included some similarly broad definitions um, in some early reviews, specifically mentioning GMOs being produced by the means of selective breeding and artificial selection. Okay, so even the European Union themselves admit genes have been transferred within species, across species, creating transgenic species that would not uh, exist otherwise. Okay, so we, we got a bunch of weird life forms running around the planet. Now, using genetic engineering techniques, new genes can be introduced or endogenous genes can be enhanced or knocked out. Okay, so there's different directions you can go with gene manipulation. Creating a genetically modified organism is a multi-step process. Genetic engineers must isolate the gene they wish to insert inside the host organism, then combine it with other genetic elements to get the specific result or the desired traits and characteristics. So a number of scientific techniques are now available for inserting the isolated gene into the host genome. So for example, the liger, which is a hybrid cross species between the male lion and the female tiger. Okay, this is a oversized, beastly animal that is not sufficient in hunting. An animal that cannot survive in the wild. Alright, so we got the wolfen. The wolfen is a cross between a male killer whale and a female dolphin. Okay, so it's a whale dolphin. Alright. And this is a hybrid species as well. Of course, its genes has been genetically modified because it's not an original species. Okay, another weird species we have is the beefilo. The beefilo is a cross-strain hybrid between a male calf, right, a bull, and a female buffalo. And they call it a beefalo for the characteristics of the cow plus the characteristics of the buffalo. Okay, now this species was created specifically for meat production. So a lot of fast food restaurants that are selling beef may be selling you that beefalo. Okay, so the Z-Donk is a cross-strain hybrid species between a male horse and a female donkey. So it's a zebra donkey, all right? Now, this is another weird species created by Eurocentric scientists who have no respect for nature or life, all right?